With the help of the face tater and the still, we will learn about facilitated positional release and stills technique. Facilitated positional release, or FPR, is purely an indirect technique, as noted by the indirect route. What sets it apart from the other indirect techniques is that it requires an activating force, shown here by the activate fort. Physicians first place the affected spinal segment into a neutral position in order to flatten the curve. This is shown as the neutral spine. Next, they will apply this compressive facilitating force, represented by the face tater fort. Once they apply the force, they will then shorten the muscle, represented by the short muscle man, and place them into a position of ease, where the muscle is the shortest. They will hold this position for about 3 to 5 seconds, and slowly release the force while carefully placing the patient back into a neutral position. Once complete, they will reevaluate the patient, noted by the evaluator, by assessing for tissue texture changes or areas of symmetry. Don't forget the two types of FPR treatments on test day. Superficial muscle treatment, shown by the superfish muscle man, focuses on reducing abnormal muscle hypertonicity. The deep intervertebral muscle treatment, shown by the deep river interstate vertebrae muscle man, not only attempts to reduce abnormal muscle hypertonicity, but also works to restore motion to a restricted area of bony articulation. Next up is stills technique. This technique is both direct, shown by the direct route, as well as indirect, shown by the indirect route. Here, the physician first places the patient in a position of ease, noted by the position of ease. Then, they will apply a compressive vector force, represented by the victory force, in order to disengage the affected segments. Lastly, they will move the affected segment into the barrier through the path of least resistance. This is shown by the E breaking into the barrier. So, in summary, FPR is an indirect technique that requires an activating force. First, the patient is posited in a neutral position. Then, the physician will apply the facilitating force, shorten the muscle, and hold for 3 to 5 seconds, reevaluating after for tart changes. The two treatment modalities include superficial muscle and deep intervertebral muscle treatment. Stills technique is both an indirect and direct technique, where the physician first places the affected segment in a position of ease and then applies a compressive vector force in order to move the segment into the direct barrier. Don't forget these techniques as they will most likely be on your test. This face tater is in a precarious position. Just ahead of him, steam releases from a vodka still. Someone has set up an indirect route that terminates in his termination, distilling him into vodka. Whoever did this dastardly tuber kidnapping also activated a fort to guard the tater. However, not all is lost. Help is on the way. With a neutral spine, the face tater fort advances to the trapped face tater's rescue. This hero, the face tater's sister, is on the face tater's side. How is that fort moving, though? Oh my! A short muscle man is carrying it over his head. The longer he holds it, the shorter he gets. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our treatment modalities, Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from muscle energy, counter strain overview, high velocity, low amplitude thrust, or HVLA, myofascial release and soft tissue, Zinc's common compensatory pattern, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.